Today we're trying out some science projects to make your Memorial Day weekend extra memorable for kids. <laughs> Kitchen pantry scientist Liz Heineke joins us live. Hey, Liz. Good morning. How are you? You know, it's going to be a nice long weekend mm -hmm. and uh, uh, maybe not as warm as some no. people would hope, but a good chance to maybe spend some time sneaking in a little learning mm -hmm. for the kids, right? Yeah, and this doesn't even seem like learning. It's so much fun. So, um, I have my little balloon here with some safety goggles on to remind people two of these projects, the, the water rockets and the um, balloon popping, you want to your kids to wear maybe like glasses or sunglasses if you don't have safety goggles, but just to protect their eyes. Mm -hmm. um, so the first project I have is water rockets and these are incredibly fun. I have a video we're gonna show you, but you just take an empty one liter bottle, you fill it up about a third of the way with water and you will need a bike pump for this. You cut a cork in half, an adult should do that, and then you stick an inflation needle through the cork. Can you see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you put the cork in the bottle, and then you just need a box, some kind of shoe box or something. And what you do is you turn the bottle upside down, you point it away from you, obviously, <laughs> and then go ahead and show the video. Then you start pumping. So here is, this shows slow motion video of the rocket. <laughs> We did, we're watching so, the video. Oh my gosh. <laughs> how cool is that? Yeah, that's amazing. So, yeah, so basically the air pressure builds up in the bottle. When there's enough pressure, the water shoots out. Newton's third law, equal opposite reaction. The water shoots one way, the rocket, the bottle shoots the other way. It can go like over your house. I'm going to say, tell so your neighbors hot. to get out of the way. <laughs> you know, I love Luckily, it. I have really nice neighbors because we were shooting this for a, a book and we actually did hit their their siding a few times but yeah. you know the bottle's empty by the time it gets pretty high <laughs> <laughs> they're used to your they're nonsense by now how about some giant bubbles okay we'll do giant bubbles next all right so giant bubbles to make this you just need like blue dawn dish soap water a little cornstarch a little baking powder and then and then this recipe is on my website and then you will need some a little bit of glycerin or corn syrup okay that's how you make the bubble mix Got it. Take a couple sticks, and this is going to get tangled. You basically just take cotton kitchen twine and tie it into a triangle with a weight at the bottom. See, I have that washer there? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put this down in here. Always fun to blow bubbles in the house, you know? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Giant bubbles. Down, you can see the bubble film. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Nice. So, super cool, yeah. Giant bubbles. Fun. And then if it's a rainy it. weekend, whoops. If it's a rainy weekend, what you can do is kids can just use a straw and a plate, and you can blow bubbles on a plate, and you can actually blow bubbles inside of bubbles. I'm not going to do it now, but you can get like yeah. three or four oh, layers yeah. of bubbles. Fun. It's super cool. Can you see that? that? Here. All right, Liz, let's make sure we leave time to show us what you're going to do with the balloons. Last one. Okay, I can't do this in the house, but once again, put on your safety goggles. Kids can do this for hours. It's so fun. The sunlight has a lot of energy. If you take a magnifying glass and focus it into one spot on a balloon, the balloon will pop pretty quickly and um, pretty fun. You know, when we were kids, we used to do this. Um, with, this is really gross. We used to do it with like ticks, but. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Balloons, lots of fun. Get your kids outdoors and it makes a memorable holiday weekend. It does. Good. Fun for the kids, not as fun for the dog. Yes, <laughs> the noises, right? We also, actually have the ticks on the dog. I'm just going to put that out there. Yes, that's right. It's least fun for the ticks. Right, yes, yeah. thanks, Liz. We appreciate it. More experiments at kitchenpantryscientist.com. Go to wcco.com slash links, and we will get you there. All of Liz's books.